Hello everyone, my name is Sinmer and we've got something new for you today. However, before we get into the video, I'd like to take a moment to tell you that nearly 70% of people who watch our videos are not subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you could do me a huge favor by liking the video, commenting below, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that bell. It really helps with the channel and lets me know that you're liking what I'm making. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the video. Kinds of stuff. We're basically able to ignore Penelope's star system. Because anybody who tries to launch an expedition in there will just fly headfirst into a meat grinder. <laughs> there just won't be much left. Are there two bounties in, on Valhalla now? No. <laughs> Seemed like there were two of them. Okay, well. Thanks for the money. Who's left? You're working and you're the last one. So yeah, the only thing we're going to need to do after this is make all these patrol HQs high commands. That'll be our last industry when they are all done. Yeah, when they're all done growing. So you're stable again. And the cost to keep you growing is very high, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. So, made of that money. Don't have to worry about that. We can head over to... Um, let's head back to Penelope Star. Let's head to uh, Dead Space 1. And... Then... <laughs> yeah, it's not worth it. Just go. But, hey, we move rather quickly. Nice. But, uh, let's head over. Let's drop off that Colossus, which is slowing us down a bit. Then we'll head over to Valhalla. Get some easy faction with the Dictas, the easy faction with the Hedge. The, uh, the fun managers will love us a bit more. And want to kill us, want to kill us less. Okay, let's drop off all of these, drop off you, let's go back to fleets, let's take this one. Okay, sounds good. Let's proceed. We drop off everything, and how many supplies we got? Not enough. As for employees, we'll take a thousand employees. We'll take, um, I don't know, a thousand supplies and a thousand fuel. Sounds good. Let's go over to take. Let's take one of these. Take one of these and let's take one or two of these. Eh, we'll take two both of those. We don't need two uh, nebulas though. We don't need three nebulas. <laughs> we only need. Uh, an extra buffalo or so. And we'll do that. So we have way more crew than we need, a lot way more fuel than we need, which is great because we'll likely get some fuel and supplies as we go and farm Valhalla. So they have a new bounty up. They're once again getting jumped by people. That's fantastic for me. Wonderful news. Spontaneous. I mean, sp stupendous news. Yes. We need more cowbell. <laughs> uh, that skit was great. Um, many of you are probably too young to get it. If we jump in here, we might get jumped by like a hundred million pirates, by the way. Let's keep that transponder off. There's no... There's no one here. Well, Alright then. Maybe they're jumping Ragnar Complex? We will see. No oh, jumps. Alright, let's do this. 
Oh, Galatia. They got riggedy wrecked. <laughs> uh, let's go in here. They, I know they, they can jump down on this one. Maybe jump on Scavi as well. As long as we don't duck with a uh, with with somebody, no one will care. Oh, they're over here. Gold chat. Let's join the boss. All right. Well, you guys know the one way we do things, right? Well, that's all. So <laughs> Kill them. Kill them all. Alright, so they will uh, fly in, jump people, and uh, then those people will explode, and everything will be great. It'll be fantastic. Fantastic. Right, you houndy. I got bad news, houndy. Bad news is that we're going to miss you. <laughs> That's the bad news. Also, that the the uh, thunders are gonna get to you. Bye, handy. All right, we got him. So, who's he targeting? That guy. Well, this is not gonna go particularly well for him once all of our uh, all of our bees blow up the side. Oh, well, there we think so. I bet I fly mine better than you fly yours. You have mortars? You monster. <clears throat> Alright, that's works. I'm gonna go kill everybody else. Die. Because that afflictor, unfortunately, does not have the ability to snipe anyone. Ooh, chasing after me, are you? As long as I can stay in normal space, I can kill that afflictor. He pops out. He's staying right next to them for some reason. Damn it. He's just sitting inside of their weapons range. Very bad idea. Gotcha. Excellent. Let's go hunt down the other ones. Oh, there's where your carrier is. Well, let's go do all the damage. Your time has come. And your engines are clearly not working either. <laughs> oh, he has really low combat right in his one. That explains some things. No. We did the most damage, we'll get the most money. Kill that. Who's left? An enforcer? Oh, you don't think he's actually going to escape, do you? Everyone. Get him! <laughs> Get him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Get him! Nice. Excellent. Right, let's claim victory. And join in the pursuit, alright. Hey, just one of you. Ship recovery done once. Let's pick through the records, take it on. Oh, we don't have any heavy machinery. We are idiots. Let's just salvage what we can. We'll, we'll get heavy machinery that way. Ooh, those can be nice at times.
Okay, so we're up to 24 heavy machineries. That's nice. There's nothing there. Nice. And what did we learn? Nothing useful. We already knew that one. All right, let's go over to Scavi. Maybe those dirty Trotac, I mean those corporate douche, I mean those wonderful uh, people that we would always like to trade with. <laughs> those, uh, those businessmen and salarymen. Maybe they are willing to trade with us. Hello, you corporate douchebags. I want to see what I can buy from you. Ooh. Four dollars. We'll take them. We don't have any money. Alright then. Well. Alright then. Be like that. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, you. We're gonna need to reduce this a little bit. Put that on there. What else can we put on here? It doesn't have a graviton beam, right? Good. All right, let's do. Uh, we need 150. That would take us up to 400. We don't have enough for it, but whatever. It does the job. So we have our effectively a medley uh, hair on here. So he's dangerous. We can now see what we can do. Is there anybody out there waiting to scream and explode? Let's hope so. I would like to kill them. Kill them all. Maybe there's something over near Ragnar, but let's check out the fringe first. If we're lucky, there'll be lots of new uh, competitors up here. New sources of income. There might be. Who are you? Just some random derelicts? Alright. We'll uh, take those, salvage it. And what is up here? I love you. We are coming. Get back here. It's going to engage. It's full of salt as always. And let's go do that voodoo that we do. Alright. Okay. Let's go blast out their carriers. Can we have them, like, bomb themselves? I mean, I know we can, it's just, will it be viable for us in this circumstance? Hello, you fool! Damn it! Kill them! Blasting. So it just started blasting. Let's get out of his range to an extent. Let's vent. And let's go make his day miserable. Alright, very nice. A lot of uh, ships are very close to him. I was hoping he would explode, kill everybody. Oh man, he's super dead. <laughs> he can fire forever. Butcha. Let's vent that soft flux, let's vent that hard flux. It's gonna make his day miserable. Ah, ooh. E ah ooh. Oh, we're doing the nineties movie again. Hmm. 
Okay, there goes that one. You will be next. Ah, oh, e. Ah. Oh no, you poor bastard. You ever heard uh, that you're gonna die? Alright, let's uh, evade that missile as that uh, mule screams and explodes. As that other uh, eradicator runs for his life, hoping desperately to escape, having no ch having no chance to do so. Of course, we don't want to shoot him too close, because if we do, we might explode with him. Looks like we escaped though. All right, let's take this guy. Nice. Guys are just exploding left and right. I like it. <laughs> He's just getting wrecked. <laughs> huh? What happened? What hit us? I'm so confused. <laughs> well, who cares? He's super dead anyway. Um, okay, let's pursue them. Second command, handle it with this. Kill them. Ship recovery, we lost something. Oh no, we lost a brawler. Oh well. Wait. Did we get a brawler? No. Hey, who cares? Just recover the crew. And it should be alright. It's just one ship. No one's gonna care. Alrighty. So, the hedgies are only suspicious to us now. That's good. Let's go for that guy. What's over there? Anything? Alright. The hedge fund managers, they uh, don't know who, they don't really, uh, they're willing to trade with us again. They gave us a little bit of money. But mostly some decent faction with uh, the dick set. We're now friendly with us. That's nice. And what's your story? Oh, let's move to engage. And let's kill them all. Get them. Our ship is a little jacked up in terms of armor, I think. Yeah, hey, whatever. It'll be fine. Okay, here's what I want. You guys, you go... Eh, whatever, just pull us all. Be fine. Power fleet is set up. Alright, very nice. Leave that carrier undefended. Relatively. By anything competent that can actually protect it. I approve. I'm Finn Moore and I approve this message. I approve this strategy. <laughs> Immediately lose the carrier. <laughs> Alright, so they should probably be leaving at this point. Alright, so we don't want to waste a shot on him. The moment we fire, he'll just run away. Oh, they have another carrier. Well, I was hoping that ramming him would cause him to run away. Doesn't look like that happened, though. Hello, Mr. Other Carrier. <laughs> You're in danger. And goodbye. Well, goodbye very soon, because no one's coming to help you. Alright. 
And there we go. Have any more carriers? No! So we have officially won the air game with our one carrier. Fantastic! Alright, that means uh, that uh, we can pretty much don't have to worry about a whole lot. We can just rely, we can just uh, focus on killing off their larger ships as the Ludgrath brawlers slaughter everything smaller than a cruiser. Everything smaller than a capital. <laughs> okay, not too bad. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that gremlin's dead. Works for us. Oh, you poor fool. This is Bent Our Flux. Let's uh, curse him. And down he goes. Very nice. Let's win to our soft flux. Put our hard flux. Target this guy. And lots of things are disabled. No worries. All right, let's take him down as he gets gets shot by literally everything around him. As they just slowly shoot him to death. All right, try to get more uptime on those guys. He's overwhelmed, and down he goes. No, who's left? There's one more guy. One more hound. Who's currently in the process of screaming and exploding. He's like, what is this? The calm before the storm? Why has everyone... <laughs> Alright. Claim victory, and let's pursue these guys. Will you? Kill them. Nice. I don't find... So, I do have a, a slight complaint with, uh, with, the, with this game right now. So, we can use story points to get ships, right? But they don't seem... It doesn't seem like it's ever worth it to use story points to get a ship. Maybe against, like, the redacted... Because I don't think you can get super redacted ships, but it just seems like maybe if you're super, super early in the game and you come across a big battle between um, like two faction fleets or something, then it might be worth it, but otherwise probably not. Anyway, I would like to, um, I don't know if the AI actually send uh, expeditionary fleets against each other. That would be interesting. Okay. Well, either way, let's see. Is there anyone over here? Seems like there's some stuff over over yonder. How are our ships looking? One day until we are repaired. Let's go jump this guy. Get over here. Alright, guys. You know the drill. The wood. Let's let our ship fly up there. He's just slowly making his way upwards. Towards the enemy. Floating along. Hoping for the best. Savoring the feast to come. And let's go kill everyone. 
You had your chance to be peaceful, but you're blowed. Now it's time for all your carriers to die so we can just instantly win the air game. No, all right, nice missiles you got there. Let's not vent. So let's because we would leave ourselves too far. We'd leave ourselves open for too long. But I don't mind some of those salamanders hitting us. All right, let's go kill this guy. It's been nice. Oh my. Shoot him. Shoot him. Yeah, there we go. Shoot him just a little bit. Make him explode. Spent that salt flux. Spent the hard flux. Let's go uh, finish off that mule so they quickly kill, her, kill the other guy. We could get a twofer if he blows up at the right time. Hey, we got a twofer. <laughs> the condor exploding made the mule explode. I love it. Oh, it's so nice when you get a twofer. Oh, man. We get just a little bit closer, do a little bit more damage. Alright. No crazy chain uh, explosions there. Shoot him! Shoot him till he dies from Nox. Who's left? No one, they're all dead. So let's claim victory. Let's join the pursuit. Let's have you handle it. And it works for me. Are we over? Yeah, we're over. All right, sounds good. And let's see, the Dictat is friendly to us. All right, sounds good. Five more days. Can we find any fresh victims in five days? Probably not, but if we do, they might be over here. We can get there in five-ish days. Two days. Alright, what do we think? Any luck? No luck. No, right. Let's leave. We're gonna make our way over to Escania. Who wants these? Is it on? We could use them. Nova Maxios can use them. Yeah, let's head back over to Penelope style. Let's... So we'll head over to uh, Dead Space 1. And then once we get there, we will just drop off a whole lot of stuff. Our colonies will soon become... Yeah, in less than 10 months, that colony will be uh, at max size. And then we can start raking in all the money. We're going to see it go from making a decent amount to making an enormous amount of money. That should be fantastic. Oh no, we're a lost crew. You know what that means? We shrug and take a drink to our profits. <laughs> we shrug, say a well, and then um, proceed to not care. <laughs> okay. So we put a graviton beam on here. That's what we want to do there. Okay, and the fault power grid is making it so you generate less flux, but that's okay. These are all normal PD lasers. Long range PD lasers cost one more. 
And they were like the long range ones. So how many long range PD lasers do we have? Two. Okay, never mind. Let's uh, go ahead and put those on there and uh, call that a day. So, if Weezes is going to go and do some uh, trading, we're going to need death. So if we can get some money, we can pay off our debts real quick. So Pippany really wants supplies. What else does Epiphany want? Drugs? Drugs. Yeah, they sort of want drugs. So we'll sell them drugs. We want 800 of them. Now what else does Epiphany want? Hmm, 500 of these. We'll do it. What else? 300 eh, for round double the price. It'll be more worth it than not. What else? Eh, a little bit. So, we might as well just handle that, I guess. It's not a good price, but it will do. Pr it will do trick. Not a good price. It will do trick. Fifty ones. Four hundred of these, though. So we'll take four hundred of these. And lastly, they want three thousand of those. So let's grab three thousand of those. Let's go to our fleet. Let's go to storage and take. We're going to take all of our buffaloes and hope that that's enough. It's not. We're going to take all of that. Hope that that's enough. It's not. All right, then. What is your storage capacity? 200. Take it. <laughs> what is yours? Five. We won't take that. Yours is 90. But we'll take those, I guess. Right, so we're going to have to leave some stuff behind. This has the lowest profit margin, so we will leave a bunch of those. We're going to need more crew, so we will take some extra crew. Extra 500 ought to do it. We'll take some fuel. Epiphany really wants fuel as well, so we'll just load up on that. And sounds good. Let's make our way to Epiphany. Alright, so there, there's more faction farm in Valhalla. So, maybe we could get something out of that, maybe not. Let's go trade with Epiphany first. Keep that transponder off. Head over there, say hello to the terrorists. They'll all scream that Lud is great, and then explode as they're being shot down by people. So, well, there we go. Nice. <laughs> so, okay, pirate activity, food shortages. Hopefully they don't die. I would like to continue profiting off them. Let's head back to Dead Space 1. So, luckily, all of these are still upgrading, so, yeah, we're kind of good there. We don't have anything to spend our money on right now, so we can kind of just do our thing. Yeah, seems great. Okay, so. Let's drop the this off. Let's put these ships back. So, yeah, pretty much everything from here down goes back. Because we're not going to need that much. No, we didn't sell them fuel. Oh well. Right, so we want 150 of these at all times. We want eh, enough crew. We'll take a thousand because we'll lose crew. 
I max out on fuel and get some supplies. What? Oh. There we go. And um, what can we do here? I think we can probably pay off all our debts with uh, this, or we will very soon. Let's take a little bit less, and let's go check out what the Dictat's got for us. No, of course, but it's our income. Yeah, okay, should be fine. We'll go over there and immediately be bankrupt. <laughs> We uh, <laughs> we uh, get a call from the hegemon for the hegemony courts. <laughs> it's just bankruptcy court. You are required to arrive in bankruptcy court. <laughs> we immediately just declare war on the hegemony. <laughs> All right. Hey, we're not bankrupt. Nice. We can't. No, we can still buy stuff. All right. But they like us a little bit more. Sure, we'll take it. What ships you got for me, buddy? Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Well, he has a griffin, so we can grab one of those. I think we have everything we need to make a griffin. We don't have a griffin currently, but we could use it. So let's go to what kind of armaments they've got. We can also just go in here and see if they've got everything we want. So, do you have uh, ty not typhoon? Do you have Mervs? No. They do have some medium of these though, which are nice. I want to just buy all of those now that we. Since we, since they're there, but uh, he doesn't have anything that we want actually. <laughs> For how we want to build it, he has nothing. It's pretty interesting. It usually doesn't happen. Usually they have at least something. Um, okay, well, what about ballistics? You can put Vulcan cannons on all these. Oh, he's out of Vulcan cannons. Interesting. All right then. Sounds great. Wunderbar. No. Wunderbar. But let's find those breach missiles and just take them. Okay. So that works for us. Now let's make our way over to Voltio. Maybe we can find something worth buying over there. Alright guys, so, what you got? Right, they have some Furies, they have some other things. They have what we need to outfit this, this ship. Any Mervs? No. No Mervs. You got any more Vulcan cannons? No. <laughs> Useless. Alright, what about Kuwar? Maybe even less. Uh, no Vulcan Gettings. Interesting. Alright then, let's go to Nordic Thea. Maybe we can go and fight some bloody pirates. It'll be fantastic. Hello chums. You got anything I want? Uh, not really. Well, you got that. We'll, we'll take that from you. Hmm, got any Vulcan cannons anyway? I mean, we have a bunch of them at home, I think. <laughs> the Vulcan cannons we have at home. Light machine guns. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, sounds good, and that needs to be a hyper velocity, I think. A hyper velocity driver. All right. So, did they have any hyper velocity drivers over there? I don't think they did. Let's go down here and just see what that is. We have any. We do. We can scavenge. Didn't find anything there. What's your story, friend? Uh, nah. We'll take it all, though. Okay, they're all making a beeline for something over here, so I'm just curious. Oh, good. Uh, take control. It's mine. <laughs> My faction. <laughs> All right, let's let's go see what we can get over there. If we can get a hypervelocity driver over there or not, maybe there's a mod that lets me search to see who has what. So I can just go grab it. One thing about games like this is. Uh, Games like this do build, um, they build like grit, I guess, in people. Uh, they train you to do things that are difficult, or they find, tra or they train you to find ways to do things that are difficult in a slightly easier way. <laughs> I guess is another way to look at it. But, alright, hypervelocity droid. We can force them shields is down. Nope. Don't get it. Useless. And what about you, before I leave? When uh, you guys are done being at war with the hegemony, I guess we'll go over there. Say hello to those guys, buy some mores from them. Be fantastic. And... Nada. Alright, sounds good. Well, it's been nice, guys. Thanks for the ship. I'm gonna go back home and see what we can get there. Also, any bounties for help? No. Alright then. Hello, try attacking. And, like, no one's attacked us recently. There are no colony threats. I think they just see the huge meat grinder that is our system, and is just, and they're just like, eh, I'm good. <laughs> now let's repair our ships. Let's go to storage. Let's drop that off. And let's see. What do we have? Right, let's go over here and uh, let's see what we can put on stuff. Do we pick up any Mervs? Doesn't look like it. Any hypervelocity drivers? Doesn't look like it. Alright, sounds good. Good talk. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so pulled up the build here. And yeah, so we're going to do the ECCM package. Converted hanger and broadsword. Let's... So the broadswords just give it a little bit more point defense, but they also help it to force down enemy shields. And after that, we just need lots and lots of sabos. So, luckily, we have lots and lots of sabos. We need a merv. Uh, is this? Do we have any sabo mediums? Nope. Okay. Well, it's almost ready. Almost. We need money. Let's see, Epiphany. You. We can take advantage of all your pain and suffering. <laughs> We're great people. We really are. Alright, so 3,000. We're going to want at least 3,000, like 500. So we can spend 500 to get back just in case we get into a fight or something. Okay, what else do you what else do you weirdos want? You want lots of fuel. 
Well, we're going to do that and we're going to take an extra 3,000 fuel just for you, Dishbacks. Okay, what about that? Epiphany wants 300, but not at a great price it's for 100 profit. We'll do it anyway. What else do you want there? Epiphany, eh, you know, 500. We'll, we'll sell you 500 for uh, some profit, I guess. So you want 400 of these? I'll do that. And you want the 800 of those for a, a for a profit to us, so we'll take it. What about this? Don't want those? What about that? Eh, small profits. Small profit. Smallest profit margin that we have right now. So let's go to storage and take. Now we need fuel. Okay, that takes care of the fuel. Now we need storage. So let's do all those. Let's do this one. And uh, we don't quite have the storage we need. So these have the next highest storage. Well, we would need like 10, like probably 11, 12 of them. So we're going to go back here and that's the lowest profit margin. So we'll drop that off. And um, yeah. All right. So leave. How much capacity does this have? Like 3,000. How much capacity do these have? Eh. This goes at what? Eight. This moves at nine. That's. It's more efficient just to take that one. So, right. And can we just make some missiles? We have harpoon. We can make harpoons, but we can't make the other stuff that we need. That we need. What about large hammer barrage? That's not what we need either. So let's go ahead and transverse jump out of here and go to Epiphany, right? Let's go to Epiphany over at Al Gabber. Go make a ton of cash. Hey, hegemony is currently welcoming to us. That works for me. Right up until they send an AI fleet to uh, to deal with us, and then we'll have to kill them all. Okay, let's go. Let's turn that transponder off, and let's go make a lot of money. Assuming a trader didn't get there before us. All right, looks like a trader didn't. That works. Ah, all the money. So they have anything that I want? No, 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 they don't. We have tons of those at home. Okay, well, let's go drop this off at Dead Space One again. And that should work great for us. Now, if we wanted to, we could make a a new fleet of lots and lots of. Right, anytime now. We could make it a lot a fleet of just a lot of those brawlers, those little bath brawlers. That could work great for us. Here our stuff. Let's drop off. this and some of these let's drop all these and let's see we're gonna need probably some more supplies I would like a thousand just so we're in the supplies and all right we have a lot of stuff we are pretty beefy in many ways what can we make in terms of weapon? Not really what we need. But let's head over to um, let's head over to choose a Mozduk. We might be able to get something cool over there. Not sure if we can or not, but might be able to. We'll be looking for some mores. At least one, but we might be two or three.
too, if we can. So we can have a uh, a bunch of different types of ships that could be useful to us. We got a smuggler over there. Galicia really uh, has Galicia has a pirate problem. That's good. That means money for us. Okay. Well, I mean that's nice, but I don't need that. Okay, so they don't have what we need there. What kind of ship she got? Nothing that we're specifically interested in right now. All right, so let's go away from Chizumo's dock and instead go over here to Kodal. Kodal, which is basically just one big military base. In effect. And, oh good here. They have most of what we need. A decent amount at least. So we'll take that. What else they got? We want some sabers. But we're almost ready. We can start uh, putting this. Like stuff on here. So, yeah, that's actually how it's supposed to look. Um, but, that's usually how I like to do things. Okay, we'll do it that way, and let's see. So, ultimately, we have like eight there. So, these two should cost the remainder of most of our points. Oh, and the hyper velocity driver, they have one. No. No, they don't. <laughs> it's a giant rail guy. Alright, let's go over to Galatia. There's in Syro over there. We can go check out Jangala. Maybe they'll have something we want. Maybe, maybe not. All right, let's do it. Let's uh, sneak over to Garner. See what we can do here. Do you guys have what I want? Well, you have sort of, kind of, but not really. What kind of ships you got? The thing I care about. Hey guys, how's it going? How's your health insurance policy? Apparently it's great. Let's uh, go over here. See if we can find that jungle. Where it looks like they've been raided. <laughs> Good. Through these guys. Oh, there we go. I just still take all of those. Um, alright. So I think he's actually set now. Sabo there, and Sabo there. Okay, so what are we missing? Okay, so we have all those. Oh yeah, we're missing the hypervelocity driver. Uh, you know, it's fine as it is without it, I guess, but... I mean, we'd, we'd want to actually... No! We'd want to actually get it. So we'll put those on there. Alright. Well, this is combat ready. It's missing some stuff, but it can do the job. Let's go to Derinku Marine Station. Actually, let's go over to the Galatia... Not, a Gla not the Galatia Academy. Let's go over to uh, Ensyra. Go see what trouble we can get into. Let's just jump in on this one. Hey. 
How's it going, my dudes? Okay, nothing we need. Kind of a uh, ship shape, yes. Nothing I super want. And so, uh, where's your pirate problem? Let's go check you out first, though. Because you might have a hyper velocity driver. Alright, so a lot of our colonies are getting their, uh, getting their star fortresses done. So they're hyper stable. They are just hyper stable at this point. Some of them will end up with tens uh, fairly soon. Alright, so let's go up here and see how we can improve our faction with various peoples. There's no one over there. That means they're either here, over here or at Pontus. Go to Pontus. That could have been a pirate over there. Oh, hey! Noise! Let's join the battle! Okay, so there are a lot of pirates. And so what can we push out? We can send those in, we can send you in. Send a bunch of these in. Let's go do that, see what we can do. Now we don't have a an officer dedicated to using missile racks on the Griffin, so... There's definitely a problem that it will have for a while. And the station should do well enough. Okay. And goodbye. You fool. Let's go after those carriers, shall we? Because there's one thing I enjoy killing more than anything. It's enemy carriers. Die. Okay, his officer is keeping it alive. Can respect. Take him down. Damn it. Okay, we're starting to slow down a little too much. Don't like that. We got him. Spent our soft flux. Let's let our hard flux go down. Dodge his attacks. And let's go after this guy. Because the carriers just present a present a constant threat to uh, some of us. Nice. I like it. Kill him. Kill him dead. fly through him there, vent our flux, and uh, let's go take care of the rest of these guys. Hello, you. Oh, no. Did we, uh, did we destroy his engines? Is he currently floating around like an idiot? No. Oh, no. Just a monster. That poor thing. And now you, friend, uh, you're dead. Ah. Alright, those are just salamanders, they're not going to do much to us. Let's knock out our engines for a little bit. And then we'll just, you know, hang out and pay space. While the majority of the enemy explodes. Alright, very nice. 